Bond's items noticeable everywhere, while sympathizers flocked around the area. Some shop owners who were counting their losses said the incident has stripped them of their source of livelihood. Some victims said many people who came to the scene under the pretense of helping out ended up looting their shops. My son, oh, no. When I asked, they said, uh, people made a flow drive for me. They said, pack and they go, pack and they go. That night, I was crying. I tried to open one of my shop. So as I was opening the shop, my hand was shaking. I told my daughter to help me to open it. She opened it before I knew it. Some group of boys just came. That mama, let us help you. They went to go and break one of uh, two of my shop. They broke the shop and started looting my goose. Some shop owners said they were angry that the Edo State Fire Service did not respond to them despite several attempts to reach them when the fire started. The, this thing happened around 7.30. So I took my bus, I drive down to the office at Oredo. I met nobody there. The security man said I should go to airport. I went to airport, I saw them, they said they are coming. I waited and waited, I didn't see any of them. I called their number, they were not picking the calls anymore. We come to fire service, they said there's no water. Before we land to a or so this is this, the house already finished. They are not working, they are working here. I don't know, especially in this our state here. I don't see the work they work here. Any money they pay to them is just a waste. They did not respond at all. It's like there is no existence of a... Uh, uh, fire brigade in a door state. Efforts to obtain comment from the Commissioner of the Supervising Ministry to the Edo State Fire Service, Commissioner for Youths and Special Duties, Barrister Damian Lawani, was unsuccessful as he was said to be away on official assignment. Pius Nsogo reporting.